In today's tutorial, I'll guide you through how to use the egen command. Egen is one of the most powerful commands in Stata, as it allows you to generate different types of variables using a predefined script. Egen is something that you probably have to install via SSC, but it's a very powerful and useful tool to use your data analysis very efficiently. Now, let's dive right into it. The eGen command basically replaces the usual generate command for most applications and it allows you to do very many cool analyses. So what you could do is you could say sum variables in eGen very efficiently or take a minimum or a maximum even by a specific observation. So it's a really powerful command that allows you to do multiple things simultaneously. So what you would for instance could do is eGen the maximum of all of the close prices is the maximum of close. Some max close. And here you see that we have one variable that is always the same as the maximum of the closing price. And you could do the same thing with minimum. And you would find the same results again. Now another thing you could use with the egen command is calculate a mean or a sum, add up all variables. So egen sum close is sum close. <laughs> sum close. So here you would get um, basically the added up value of all of the closing prices. Right, so you'd have the added up value of all of the closing prices. Now, one of the really large benefits of um, using eGen is that it works together with the buy sort command. So if I say um, generate group t which would be one if t is smaller than 100 and i replace group t if t is larger than or equal so now i have the group t which is just an identifier whether t is larger than something and what i can do is use the by sort group t command and then subsequently, egen, the max close t, is the maximum of close. Now, if I look again at the data set, I'll find that I have a different maximum of close than that I had before. So at the end of the data set, it's only 309. As where the previous one, it was 381. So I can do this by groups say by stock, by firm, by any other thing that you'd like to do. So you can use this by sort command in combination with the close command. And if you have different groups, you can also do other other agent commands. So by sort group T egen counter is count of, of the close information. And then I basically have the number of times that there's a non-zero close observation for this item. So there's 99 observations from 1 to 100 before, and there's 152 observations afterwards. So I can also calculate the amount of items that are in a specific group, which is really useful. Now, other things that you can do with this are also make a group identifying information. So um, say that we also have generate group alternative is three if t is larger than 150, replace group alternative is four, 100 doesn't matter, if t is smaller than or equal than 150. So now we have two groups and we'd like to make this into a single group variable. What we then can do is 
by egen group combined is the same as a group of the previous two groups and now you'll see that you have a observation that is first one then when it changes it goes from two to three so it makes different sets of groups depending on the observations in one group t and group alt the first they're consistently the same right you see that and then this group changes to a different combination of the two so the variable goes from one to three and then in the end it changes again and it changes to the last and final value from two to three here from three to four hundred so there you have all of the combinations now it's not sorted as you can see but it does generate a new group identifier if you need it so you could make over all of your isins, for instance, a very easy group. Egen combined group is group icing, close brackets, bam. You can immediately use that thing as fixed effects in a regression. So it's very efficient to use these commands. There are more Egen commands. If you'd like to use, just press the help button and you'll figure out how to use these commands. But these are the most commonly used ones. There's one more I'd still like to show you. And that will be Egen row total is row total and then i select a whole bunch of variables and what this does is it basically adds up all the values of all of these items in one go so as opposed to saying generate me row total is that variable plus that variable plus that variable you see how cubersome this is plus that variable um, i could also just do that in one very quick command without specifying and specifically adding up all of these variables if you have a really big data set and you just like to add up everything you can do that very efficiently by just selecting all of the variables that you'd like to have so this was the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope that you'll find great joy in using the eGen command. Thank you for listening, and see you at the next tutorial.